Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. I'll be playing some more of your speedrun courses today. This first one's called Blue TV Games Speedrun Challenge. Let's go ahead and start it up. Oh, cool. Nice little way to start it. Little ghost house themed speedrun course to start things off today. Fireflower with the clown car. It's always fun because then you can shoot the giant three fireballs. Oh crap. Ooh, we made it. A little thwomp there. Yoshi. There we go, we can get through to the end now. Cool, nice little warm-up course, nothing too hard here. I like the ghost house theme. Haven't seen too many of those throughout this so far. Great job. All right, up next we have Twirly Speed Run. Let's go ahead and start it up. Ooh, that's a little evil. Where are there coins up there? Checkpoint up there. Can we get up there? That's the question. I think we might have just found a little secret way through here. Yep, we found the shortcut. Very easy. I don't know how hard the course is normally, but it looks like you made a little cheat easy route to get through. Maybe you had a little trouble uploading your course or something. So I can't really say a lot about it. Kind of a clever way to set up a hidden route or whatever. All right, up next we have Speedrun Challenge 1 BTG. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Another ghost house level. All right, that one's too high to get. There's another one back there. That's what I figured. There had to be some way to get up higher. Figured a spring or something. We'll stay in this area until we get those other two coins. Sweet. Alright, so I'm guessing we go to the next sub area now. Four coins to go. Ooh, there's one up there. One more. We gotta find one more coin. Awesome, we found it. Alright, now we just... Oops. Now we just gotta get back to that first section again, if we can find it. And then we gotta fly up to that pipe that originally spat us out. I think we're getting close. There it is. Yes, we did it. Okay. Go through the locked door. Oops. 30 seconds left. Awesome. That was really cool. I liked the layout a lot. It felt like a traditional ghost house level. Collecting all the coins was really unique, and I liked the use of the cape. Definitely a great job on that one. All right, up next we have Level Creation Challenge 1 Run. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, here we go. So this level is a speed run course in disguise. If you go through to play this normally, you'll notice that there's coins to collect and there's reusable checkpoints, so you can really take your time on this one. Uh, however, I knew that the person that uploaded was able to beat it in 90 seconds, so I was determined to figure out how they did it. I think I'm figuring it out. Alright, we got three of the coins. Those hidden blocks at the beginning were the trick to be able to get this. I think that's going to be the key to victory here. Two coins left. Oh, 
The one coming up is the one I've been having the most trouble with, actually. Gotta hit these just right. Otherwise, you'll get face first with a Koopa Troopa and lose. We made it, though. That's awesome, because that's definitely one of the hardest ones to get. This one's a little tricky, too, if you're not paying attention. All right, one coin left. And this one's actually super easy to get. 26 seconds left. All right, take the hit. We're taking the hit because it'll make this part go quicker. We get into the pipe. Okay, we got 18 seconds. We might be able to beat this. It's going to be really close. 13 seconds left. There's the door. Go through the door real quick. And we finished the level with 11 seconds to go. So this is a really clever stage because you can actually play through all the sections to collect all the coins. And they are a little tricky to figure out, as you'll see if you go through and play this one. Or you can take the super secret hidden route and try to get the high score. Definitely a cool level. Very creative way of uh, making it possible to beat within 90 seconds and to stretch the time limit. Of course, I had to figure it out. All right, up next we have speedrun turn on comments. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can beat this in 90 seconds. Gotta be possible. It was uploaded that way, so. So far, so good. Through here as quickly as possible. All right. Doing good so far. A little self advertising here. This part's actually a lot easier to get through small, but we'll see if we can do it. There we go. We got small Mario at least. 38 seconds left. Gotta be quick here. Thirty seconds left. Alright, can we do it? Eighteen seconds left. It's not gonna be easy. 10 seconds left. Woo! 8 seconds. 7 seconds. Yes, we did it. 5 seconds left. Cool. So there was a checkpoint, so you could die and beat this, uh, you know, in two tries. Wanted to beat it in the 90 seconds because I knew I could. I actually enjoyed this course. A couple parts felt more thrown together than others, though. Some of it was laid out really nicely, and then there was like that part with all the moving platforms that just felt real random. But overall, it was fun to try to get that 90 seconds. Great job. All right, up next, we have Blue Television Games Speedrun Challenge. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. So it looks like we could take a hit here to go a little quicker but I love this costume, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. This running animation's so awesome. Cool, so far so good. Ooh, that's scary. And crazy. <laughs> Oh no, don't fall down. There we go. Had to bounce just right on that. Cool. So far so good. Really enjoying this course. Great use of the costume. 
This is what speed run courses are all about. Just running as fast as you can to get through. Oh, Starfy can't get through because he doesn't have the door key. Definitely a great course. This is exactly the kind of courses I had in mind when I thought speed run. It was just nice just to go really fast. Great job. All right, for this next one, we got extremely lucky. You actually had two things wrong in your code, but I was able to figure them out. There's been this repeated pattern of 0231, and you had D231. And then you had FI62, and the fact that there's usually no I's, I figured it was a one, so we were able to figure it out. Let's go ahead and start it up. No one's cleared it yet. All right, here we go. One coin down already. Two coins. We got a fall down here just in time. Whoa, that was close. So far, so good. Ooh, another one down here. I guess we'll spin on this just to be safe here. Oh, we got all the coins, so let's go through the door and finish the level. All right, so that one was pretty easy, pretty fun. Good job. All right, up next we have Booception. Let's start it up. All right, Booception. Let's do this. I do like the boo in front of the white block at the beginning. It's really cool. We have figured out that there's a mushroom in this and that there's some boo circles in some of the other question mark blocks. All right, I keep messing up this jump and getting hit. Okay, we made it that time. That's good. See how long we can hold on to our mushroom this time. Cool. All right, so this is different this time because I got a mushroom out of that question mark block. Is this different though? Is the question. Looks the same so far. Now we're back to the beginning one. Ooh, we figured it out, I think. Yeah. A little bit of a puzzle level, which fits the ghost house theme nicely. And the 90 seconds really puts the pressure on to get through it. Good job. All right, up next we have BTG. It's the boss. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Dang it. That's okay. We can still beat this. Give me that. And I'll take the key here. Alright. So I haven't been able to beat this boss battle yet. But I think we'll get it this time. Alright, at least we kept Oh, we lost it. <laughs> I was going to say, at least we we're still Super Mario, but we lost it. Now we just got to take out this guy and it'll all be over. I wish we could get him to give us another power-up. Now we can kill him. He lands in a good spot. Yes, all right. We got the key and beat the boss. We got 15 seconds left. Let's just run through those guys. We don't got time for those. Sweet. 
13 seconds left. So definitely an interesting boss battle. I like how you had to move over to the side of the screen to get the uh, the grinder to actually take out the blocks so the Magic Koopas could be freed so that you could kill the final Magic Koopa and get the key and finish the level. Really cool. All right, guys. Well, that will conclude the levels for this episode. Uh, there's still about 30 levels to go. If your level hasn't been played yet and you knew you submitted early, there's only one so far that I haven't been able to beat that I'm saving for the final episode. Um, so just stay tuned if your level's really hard. Uh, that might be why it hasn't shown up yet. I'm going to practice it some more and see if I can beat it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you around. Thank <laughs> you.